A strap bend. Morning men, starboard 10. The buffer. Hello everybody. Yeah, welcome back. And today's little knot, we're going nautical again on this one. And this one is known as a strap bend. And let me just read to you from Ashley's what it says about that. And it should also appear on the screen there. But it is actually 1492, a strap bend of another sort, the circular piece of rope which passes around a block and provides the eye from which it is suspended is called a strap. Also a rope wreath or a single rope with an eye in one or both end which is made which is to be made fast in the rigging and to which the tackle is hooked is termed a strap. So there you go. We are nautical today and the idea of the strap is basically it's a way of joining two loops together if you don't have access to either end. And it's so quick, so simple to do. If you know about this knot, if you've used it before, please do leave me a comment down below. And anything else you want to talk about, leave a comment down below and we'll have a chat online about this. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on and let's get knotting. Right, so as you can see, here we have our little dilemma. We've got a loop to the right and a loop to the left, and we want to be able to join these two ropes with a bend of some sort. And this one is just such a doddle. And as I tie this, for those of you who know your knots will recognize this one instantly under another name. So first thing that I need to do is I need to pass one loop through the other. So in this case, I'm gonna take the red loop and pass it through the yellow loop like so. Just pass a little bit through because we'd want some to work with. And now that we've done that, the next thing that we do is we take the red loop and we pass it underneath the yellow. So to pass the red underneath the yellow like so. And now the next thing that we do, and this is where you'll recognize it, we then take this red loop here, we pass it over the two yellow ones there, and at the same time, pass it underneath the red one itself at that point. So what I'm gonna do is just take it over the two, red, two yellows, underneath the two reds, pull it through, and recognize that? Yep, the sheep bend. So there you go. So that is one way of joining two loops together. And if you know of a different way, tell me in the descriptions down below because I'd love to hear about it. So that's it. And that is nice and secure. Now, the only thing that I would say about this is that this particular knot, obviously, if it's allowed to become slack, there is a chance of it coming undone and I'll keep shaking and eventually that will come undone. You can see it's already loosened up here. It just needs a little bit of time, a little bit of shaking, and that will come undone. So anyway, there you have it. How quick was today's little lesson? So if you want to tie the strap bend, that is how you do it. So once again, thanks everybody for watching. Give me a thumbs up, like it, share it, whatever you want. But please do leave me a comment down below and let's have a chat about this and other knots that you may be interested in. So once again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.